Hi friends, thank you for tuning in. In today's video, let's talk about ways to calm ourselves or they call this grounding exercises. Now, if you're living with mental health issues like anxiety, for example, you're having panic attack, then this is not a replacement to mental health professionals visit. But this could be a handy tool that you could use for a moment or any of us when we're emotionally upset. So the first in our list is deep breathing exercises and we have tons to do it. But in this video, let's talk about two ways to do it. So first is the box exercise where you take a deep breath and then you have this figure of box while doing that. Okay, so deep breath into your nose and then out of your mouth. So you can do it again. So you can repeat that process again and again as needed. Another way to do it is with the use of the palm of your hands. So take deep breath while you stroke this from the tip of your tongue. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do it again. And so on and so forth. This is very important especially when you are really about to react instead of becoming responsive, you are becoming reactive. So you are sitting on your desk and you are pressured with a lot of things. Why not take time and do this breathing exercises, either the box exercise or the breathing exercises using our palm. Now, the second on our list is using our senses and the way we do it this is to divert our attention when we're about to yell we're about to uh, experience that outburst of emotion we will go back to our senses we will pause and we're going to start with our eyesight five things that i can see right now so we can look out side a window and see i can see uh, trees i can see birds i can see houses i can see flowers i can see the sky then we can go to our sense of smell what are those three things that i can smell right now so perhaps coffee perfume or candy whatever it is and then we can go into two things that i can taste right now so perhaps a coffee or gums and let's say three things that i can touch like the, my table my pencil, my paper, just trying to divert our emotion, our attention to our senses. And the third one would be my favorite 10 fingers gratitude. So what are those 10 things that I am grateful today? So I am grateful that I, for this time that I can share you these tips. I am grateful for my children. I can grateful. I am grateful for my hardworking partner. I am grateful that I am healthy. I am grateful that my parents are healthy. I am grateful that my kids are healthy. I am grateful that I have friends that I can call whenever I need someone to talk to. I am grateful for my sister who's always been there for me. I'm grateful for my niece who is turning one year old soon i am grateful for new opportunity that comes along the way so there are a lot of things that we can be thankful for and i encourage you to have this 10 finger gratitude whenever you have time you like in your coffee break or whenever you sit down and in that way it changed the chemistry of our emotions of it will change the ambience of the workplace instead of complaining instead of looking for things that we do not have we are actually paying attention of those things that 
we do have that we sometimes take for granted. So I hope that this is helpful. Let me know by commenting below which one of these three uh, grounding exercises would be helpful for you. I love to hear your stories. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to be kind to yourself. Until my next one, bye.